Hi, I'm Mark Winnegar, and in this episode, we're going to talk about the while loop in JavaScript. So, take a little trip with me out to W3 Schools, to the JavaScript tutorial, and then if you just navigate down the menu along the left, just a little ways, you'll find the JS while loop. And that's the material that I want you to study for this episode. Now, if you remember, Bowman Jacopini talked about this idea of iteration, of doing things over and over again, creating what we call a loop. And loops are great because they are the true power of computers. They allow our software to do a set of tasks over and over and over again as long as a certain condition is true. And we call that condition the loop exit condition. Now, in JavaScript, we have two types of loops. The for loop that we saw in our last episode and the while loop. Let's take a look at how the while loop works. I went ahead and created a web page for us to look at that uses a JavaScript while loop. Everything in this web page is in this script. This is the whole thing. It begins as any other JavaScript does with a script tag and we identify our script as text slash JavaScript. And the first thing that I do is that date output that we saw in our first JavaScript. And then I print out a heading and the HTML code for my H1 heading is included in quotes. So I'm using JavaScript, again, to write this out to my web page. And then I come into the while loop. Now, before entering my while loop, I create a new variable called i for integer. And I set it equal to 1. Then I come down and I set up my while loop. And I start with the word while, and then within parentheses, the condition that I want to be true in order to continue with one more pass through the statements in my loop. So my condition is i is less than or equal to 6. And as long as that's true, we'll do whatever is within my curly brackets. Well, there's three things here. The first task is another document.write. And what I'm doing is printing out the paragraph symbol, the square of, and I'm concatenating onto the end of that literal string of characters, the value of i, which the first time through will be 1. Then I write again a literal quote space is space quote plus one squared or one times one. And that I can cancelate at the end of is and then put an ending paragraph tag on the end of that. Now you might say, well, could I have done that in one line? Absolutely. But it would have been a long line. I broke it down into two lines simply to make it easier for us to look at in this episode. Now, so I'm writing out and then I increment the value of i. 
So I++ plus plus means I is one more than it used to be. So if I was one, it becomes two. If it was five, it would become six and so on. So we'll keep doing this, incrementing I from one to two, three, up to six, and then one more time we'll make it equal to seven. But when it's seven, we're no longer meeting our condition of I being less than or equal to six, so we stop. Let's have a look at the program run. It's in my JavaScript course folder. And there it is down at the bottom. I called it while loop.html. If I double click on it, there it is. My code ran while the page was loading. And there we have the squares of the integers 1 through 6. Play around with while loops. I think you'll find them to be very useful. Thank you.